Hi everyone, hope you're keeping safe and sane. I know it's challenging times and wanted to let you know that we're always here to connect and have a conversation. Uh, last night was a great catch up. If you are looking for those connections, join us to the happy hour on Thursday. That's always fun. I know for me personally, I've been filling in little gaps of time here uh, with a bit of online gaming and that's giving me a little bit of non-work time, but also a little bit of escapism. Uh, so if you ever want to talk about games, VR games in particular, feel free to hit me up. Anyway, broader picture. Three things I want to touch base on. Number one, a thanks for feedback. Uh, we always say feedback is a gift, but uh, Minal Sharma took some time to give us some very specific feedback on the podcast and how we can improve it. And so I just wanted to say thanks. Thank you, Minal, but also thank you everyone who's fostered such a great culture of feedback. If you haven't tuned into our podcast, check it out. There's some great stories on how people got into their sales roles, particularly in tech sales. And you may find some of them informative and hopefully a little bit inspirational. Secondly, I want to talk a little bit about the rise of commission based roles or commission only roles. And one of the things that I'm starting to see slide into conversations is more tech companies looking at and considering commission only roles or commission only sales development or internships. Um, I wouldn't say it's a trend, it feels very early, but I do see more VPs of sales and more CEOs considering, seriously considering the opportunity. Uh, I've seen groups talking about contract language, talking about comp plans, and so I do expect over the next 18 to 12 months, we're gonna see a lot of companies experiment with it. Uh, an experiment would typically be a small group or a small segment before they make a decision. Um, so I don't think we're at a spot where I would say we'll see a lot more commission-only roles, but I think we are going to see some experimenting. Um, so if you are open to that, uh, I'm always happy to facilitate some introductions. I think it's too early to say if it's a better or a worse you know, environment to work in, um, but it is something that we're starting to see. If you have any questions on that, again, feel free to hit us up. The third thing that I wanted to talk a little bit about is support focused SDR rules. These are really customer success sales rules. Over the last five to six years, we've seen a lot of software companies separate out that idea of sales and customer success. And customer success, while it's being treated as a revenue rule, is typically being treated as upsell. So the sales organization closes a deal, brings it in, over the next period of time, customer success makes that client successful and raises revenue from them. Uh, what I am starting to see is a number of software companies, particularly those with freemium products, where because of the current environment, their free product has exploded with usage and they don't have a service or a customer success organization that can really cost-effectively make them successful. A lot of these companies are looking at SDR roles that have more of a customer success bent. So I think we're going to see a lot more roles that have an SDR style comp plan, like base and variable, but the role itself is much less about take a lead, book an appointment, and more about take a lead, help them out, qualify, and if appropriate, book an appointment. So it's a little bit of service, a bit of customer success, but driven around revenue. So if you're someone who leans more towards a customer success role and still really enjoys all of that process around qualification, problem solving, and recognizing that upsell, there's gonna be a whole host of roles that might open up for you. Uh, again, if you're particularly interested in that style of an internship as well, drop me a message because I've had a few tech companies actually reach out specifically about those. The one caveat I would add though is that these are newly imagined roles and so the actual requirements and some of the comp structures will probably change over time. So whereas if you were going into a straight SDR role, you have a little bit of cookie cutter expectations and you can manage your own expectations a lot better, some of these roles are gonna be a little bit different and they may change over time. Uh, so I would uh, only go into them if you're gonna be comfortable with some of that change and working with a company to make it successful together. So again, thank you again you know, for the feedback. We are seeing more commission-based roles and that kind of customer success SDR evolution is gonna be interesting. Interesting to watch over the next 12 months. Either way, hope you're having a fantastic Friday. Have a great weekend. And as always, if there's anything specific you'd like me to hit in these updates, just let me know. Chat soon, bye.